Hello everyone, Brian here. Today I will be harvesting an ear of corn for you. And in the backyard, standing for, before us, is this corn row and trellis and three sisters growing technique, where there are corn, squash, and beans. This was originally designed for the avocado, the young avocado back here, where they like shade and last year through this learning process this avocado was scorched and lost all its leaves so this once again is built for the avocado so the cool thing is now we have corn to eat and sown here back in the beginning of March are heirloom golden bantam corn and they're sown directly into the ground um, and also they're sown pretty close together. The spacing between the corn is about a foot apart. And next year I'm going to try to sow them even closer together. So why is proximity so important? Um, for corn, they pollinate by dropping their pollen from above to the silk on the corn. And the pollen is wind driven or gravity driven. They're um, not pollinated by bees or, in, or anything like that so they need to be grown as closely together as possible to ensure pollination and when growing corn that's one of the challenges is to make sure that all the kernels are pollinated if not then you're left with a bunch of cob and no corn kernels which is also another fun thing about corn is that um, opening them so for me, that's half the surprise is to see how filled out the kernels are. So how do we know when corn is ready to harvest? One way is to feel the silt. And when it's ready to harvest, it is dry and a little bit crunchy. And back here, I'm going to harvest this corn for you. It looks like I broke too much, so... Um, it's a two-handed job. I wish I had, uh, hadn't done that because I need the corn stalks to remain so that the bean can continue to grow and also uh, provide shade to the avocado. But anyways, let's uh, open it up and see how filled out the kernels are. Hopefully we have a lot of kernels and not too much of the cob. And the other thing is let's hope there's not corn worms in here. The corn was planted pretty early in the year there's a lesser chance of there being earworms. And there it is, an ear of heirloom golden bantam corn. You're not likely to find this heirloom variety at the supermarket. It's got an old-fashioned corn taste and texture. I really encourage you to try and grow this for yourself and check it out. And next to the golden bantam corn is the supermarket sweet white corn. It is way, way different from this homegrown corn. With the corn that was just harvested, it went into a stir-fry fried rice dish and in the evening grilled golden bantam corn with smoked ribs, jerk chicken wings, and Cajun grilled shrimp. Thanks for watching and if you like tips on growing corn, check out my blog. Catch you next time and happy gardening! And before I really go, I want to show you this pumpkin here. An heirloom sugar pie pie pumpkin. It's starting to turn color and we're closer to having some pie pumpkin for pies and such.